once you press place, that map will appear in your story map. Okay, so I'm going to pause right there for a minute for um, everybody to experiment with adding that one shape file to your story map. And when you're ready. Um, no, unfortunately, Knight's Lab does not allow you to add shape files. Um, shape files is very specific to Esri. Um, that's one of the disadvantages of Knight's Lab versus uh, this um, having an online Esri account. And there are ways to create a public Esri account, but again, I don't believe they allow you to create maps unless you have um, a private account. Um, so, I see a few thumbs up or hands raised. I will move on to the next section. I'm sorry, I just had a quick question before we moved on. Um, I guess this might be more of a technical thing, but how can I connect, I guess, my... Because I'm able to like make a story map, but I guess I'm not logged into my actual Esri account, like the main Esri account that you put up. Um, okay, um, so one way you can do that is if you're on your story map account, if you're on this page, you can mm -hmm. actually go here. And I don't want to leave this page, but you could click on your name. Mm -hmm. um, actually, let me see if I can open it in a new tab without disrupting. Okay, so yes, if you click on your name, you'll open your profile. And then you'll click this section that says map, and that's where you can create a new map. Okay, okay. Um, that's another shortcut to get to your Esri account. Awesome, thank you. And if you're doing um, more advanced GIS work, say you're working with rasters, that can get a little more complicated. Um, some people have made maps in other map making software or other uh, resources such as Mapbox. And what I've seen other um, story map makers do is they'll actually import uh, an outside map into their story map um, if it just doesn't work for them. So the same way that we put a story map within a story map, you can put a web page within a story map that displays a map. So it's all about the layering. Okay, so I'm just going to pause there for a bit. want to show if you want to use a map that's already been created, um, somebody else might have already created the map that you want to add to your story map, you can actually browse the Living Atlas and you can search for different layers through the Living Atlas. So there's terrain maps, there's digital elevation, there's land cover maps, um, forest type maps, and you can add these to your own map um, if you want to display what's already been um, created by somebody else. So there's a lot of uh, maps on there that other people have already made. And if you, you can even search through Esri for other maps. Um, these are other maps I've made for other story maps. And you can include these maps in your story map. Um, in your Esri account, uh, there's a tab that's called My Content. And it shows a list of all the maps that you've already made or other maps that you have used for other um, Esri type of uh, maps. And you can even look within your organization at maps other people in your organization have made. And at UGA, there are several maps that have already been created for story maps. I'll go back to the original story map that we started. Are there any thumbs up out there? Should, uh, do, do you guys need more time? Okay, we got some thumbs up there. And like I said, this uh, workshop will be recorded. So if you didn't catch the first time, you can come back to this recording. We'll provide it to the class. So let's move on to how a much simpler way to just place a dot on a map. 
and we are going to add some landmarks, some of our well-known landmarks, such as the Arch and Sanford Stadium, to the map. So once you create, and that's uh, creating a new slide by either clicking on this button or clicking on a slide you've already made ahead of time, you can continue your story. So I am going to add Sanford Stadium. And just wreck that there with a capital S. And then you can type some information about the stadium. So let's add some media. Let's add an express map. So the express map is exactly what it sounds like. It's a quick map that shows you locations. So it's going to pop up with the world map and you have to find your location first. You can actually search by location. Athens, Georgia. And it'll take you to that location. Um, you can add that to your map, but what I'd like to do is find the University of Georgia. So it's going to give you this gray map, and that's probably not the map you want to use to show your location. So if you click on this little cog here and go down to this um, area here, you can change your base map. And I'm going to change it to an imagery map. And that might look a little more familiar. Of course, Sanford always stands out because it's probably our biggest landmark on campus. And I'm going to zoom in. You can actually see the, the G right there. And this little uh, carrot right here, if you click on that, you can either add a point or add a number. So this time I'm going to try adding a number. And there's the number one. As you zoom out, that number stays in place. And now I'm going to find our second landmark, which will be the arch. Now we all know where the arch is located, so I will go ahead and give that a number two. And that will be the arch. And our third location, for the purposes of this workshop, will be Hardy Field, which is located right here. I'm going to zoom in to the field and give that the number three. Okay, so I'm going to pause right here, and if everyone can just find those locations on this map and label them one, two, three, or you could use just the point and just label it with a point. Okay, so just a couple minutes for um, to find those locations on your map and just add your points. Hey, Amanda. Yes. Um, I'm actually not familiar with Athens, um, so do you mind zooming in to your number two and three? Oh, yes, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm on the Tifton campus, so, uh, so yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Well, welcome to Athens. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so our arch is the actual physical cast iron uh, arch that's located on the north side of our campus. And it's a very symbolic symbol to uh, many students and people of Athens as a passageway. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll show a picture of the arch after we all add our points. So I'm going to zoom out. Um, so there's two and three. And if you get fairly close, that's that's okay. Because <laughs> this is all for the demonstration purposes. Um, from Sanford, do you go north or south to find the arch? So from Sanford Stadium, north. Okay. We go north. Thank you, I found all three. <laughs> okay, awesome, awesome. So once you've placed your points, you can actually come to this little layer tab here, and you can click on the point and name it. So you see the little one, I'm gonna name it Sanford. And you can add an image. So the images that were in there, that's going to be the football field. So when you, let me get rid of that B. So when you click on this point, it'll pop up with a picture of the stadium. And then let's do the same for the arch. So. So we'll match the pictures and you can add, add another description down here. Oh, and remember to click done. I, I just realized I didn't click done on the last one, so that'll save it. Um, and I accidentally mislabeled that as Sanford. That's actually the arch. And we can change that to the picture of the arch. So for those who are curious what the arch looks like, this is the ground view of our arch. And done. And finally, we will party field.
and thumb. So I'll take a moment for everybody to label their map. Okay, so if you've all labeled your um, locations, as you see, as you scroll over it, that picture will pop up, and if you have a description, it'll write the description. Now, wherever you have this map position is going to be the extent that's displayed in your map. So if you have your map displayed like this, with this type of view, um, it'll display that full extent. And if you zoom in, it'll display that location. So if you click Done, now your map is in your story map and we can move on to the next scene all right so i'm just going to wait for some thumbs up and if we need to go back we can go back if you do need to edit your map that's what this little pencil is for you can click on edit and it'll take you to right where you left off and to resave just click done when you're done or if you don't like this map you can start over and add different media all right i'm seeing a thumb up i think i saw another thumbs up so we will move on to the next slide and we might want to just do a slide of Sam Earth Stadium and same thing we're going to go ahead and create another slide but this time we're only going to highlight one of those landmarks and I'm going to add a map and remember if you've made your own map you can add that or we'll do the same thing we did before and add an express map Athens, Georgia. Let's zoom in. And we're going to change that base map to something that's a little more informative. So just some ideas of different type of base maps. And there it is, right in the middle of Athens. So I'm going to zoom in as far as I can to the stadium. And I kind of like that view, so I'm going to leave it right there. Um, I'm not going to add any points, but if you want, you could actually add annotation, which is you can write directly on the map. And you can change the background. Um, you can change, I think there's a way you can change the color. And then you can move that to where you'd like it to be in your map. So I am going to place this annotation right here and then place this point here so that's another thing you can do on a map is add your own um, type of labeling or you can add lines you can add polygons arrows all right we are not able to pick a specific location with knight's lab okay so for those of you working in knight's lab you can set a point on your map by adding the location but um, again, you won't have this ability to do annotations. Uh, let me go back to Night's Lab. So for example, here I added a point um, for where UGA is located. And I might want to add a new slide. And you can move your point around and you can zoom in in Night's Lab. So if you want to move your point in Night's Lab, you can actually pick it up and move it to the location where you want it to go. And then you can save that. So it's a little trickier to use because the maps aren't, um, you don't have the same choice as base maps. But say I want to find, and your screen's a little smaller to work in. Say you want to find stadium, that's let me zoom out. Okay, so zoom in. We have the stadium. Up here, Sanford Stadium. So you can label. You can label your stadium, add the same description, save and then share. I'm going to go ahead and open this in another page. So as you click through it, you'll move locations. And 